Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Valley of the Myth Block of the Month. I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And we are here with our December 2020 Block of the Month. And um, just like normal, we do ask you to go to the Valley of the Myth Quilt Guild's website and download the instructions. Um, and want to remind you that when we talk about the fabrics we use, that has to do with people that are turning in blocks for the drawings with the Quilt Guild. Right. If you are doing them for yourself and you're doing this whole year a block of the month and this is the last block of the year, but all of the instructions are on the website, you can go back, you can get all of them, then pick a focus fabric to tie in your quilt for the whole year. And um, that's what we have done. So, and, and we use um, similar blacks and whites and stuff like that. Okay, so. So we can talk about right now which fabrics we're using. Well, all right, but so. not, yeah. Here's our beautiful block. And as we talked about for a couple of months, this was the block to use up your scraps. Yes. And, and so Shelly and I have approached the block from two different kind of methods. So I think, uh, all right, Shelly, tell them about the fabrics that we use Okay, first. we'll do that first. Let me move mine out of the way. Okay, we have a focus fabric that's in the beginnings and it's the a Western Washington Shop Hop. And then we have a coordinating fabric which coordinates some, with the focus, a black, and, oops, excuse me, and a white. Okay, so just to back up in case you're new to this, this focus fabric that we have this year, you will not be able to find it if you are not a guild member. If you are a guild member, we still have fabric, let us know, but we are really trying to have you use up your, everyone started with a half yard. You should have pieces left and that should be enough. Um, and the other ones are just a coordinating fabric. You're picking that matches something in the focus fabric. It's, it's just a coincidence that Shelly and I used yellow. Right. This time for, for my block I'm gonna do while we sew, I'm using green, Shelly's use using blue. blue. So it, it's just something you see. And and then the white and the, and the black, um, they don't have to be solids, they just have to look generally white or black. Okay, so now back to, back to the, to the scope of the block. So, now, now Shelly has really, she's only got one block up here. She's actually already made two of these blocks. And um, her first totally one, different. her first one was more like this one that I have here, um, which the method done on mine was I took, you know, random pieces of fabric that I had and I tried to find pieces that were of a similar width and I sewed pieces together until I had pieces that were about 13 inches long. Right. Somewhere at 12 and three quarters to 13 inches. I'll tell you, you do, we're gonna ask you at the end to, to make these pieces roughly the same because it just gets hard if they're all completely different lengths. Right. But mine, you know, when you add a piece on, you know, I would wait till you sew it together and then cut off the extra because then you can look at the strip and see what you like right. best. I agree. And and so mine was, you know, on, on this one, obviously I took a strip of black and just added a chunk of my, or actually I, I think I started with, I, I had my pieces of focus that were my priority and my pieces of, I'm sorry, focus and my coordinating fabric. And those two was what I then went to my white and my black and I saw what do I have that will add on to that. Now, right here, when I, I had some little tiny pieces of focus fabric. They were not even half inch wide. <laughs> and so I did very small eight inch seams to make, to make these strips so there was some part of it left. And I have three of those on here. And I personally, I love the way that looks. It does, it's very striking. And so, you know, if you have one that's um, three quarters of an inch wide, that would give you this, and you did a quarter inch seam, you would end up with a quarter inch piece in there. 
and, and um, it would look very nice. So basically I took, I took my smallest pieces and if they were not, if they were not a width I had, I added pieces to the sides of them, small pieces to get them out to say like right. an inch and a half, two inches wide, right. and then added things on the top and the bottom. If they were wider like this one, then I might find a piece that I had and I, and I just tried to match it up. Um, right. And then I actually was pretty careful to not use the same fabric against the same fabric, but I know Shelly did in some places. Yeah, just because it worked out. And so I, I had some triangular or some angled pieces that I fit in there. And, and, and the one thing I want to, and Shelly's gonna talk about this a lot more in just a second. If you have something that's at an angle, um, it, it can be tricky to figure out the angle you need. So when you flip it up, it it, right. it goes the right way. You can way. always try it out with pinning it and folding it, right. which I totally did because even if you think you're at 45, it might not be 45. I mean, 45 is easy because yes. then you just need another 45 right. to match it. Um, but if you have a 60 degree, then you need a 30 degree on the other side, you know, the opposite way to match it. That's a little bit trickier. Right. Uh, so we won't even go into that. But basically, like on this one, mine was slightly wider. I actually had, um, oh, do I have any right now? I had some big, like, triangle pieces that we had left from this block. And I sewed, I sewed a triangle into here, and then I trimmed out a strip that, um, that I got like the maximum strip from that piece. And then I and then I had the leftover piece to add to something else. Now, Shelly's, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, stop talking, let Shelly talk about how she did these, where she basically took triangles and added more triangles. Right, let me kind of highlight, for uh, right here, this top triangle here actually was like two triangles when I actually ended up Squaring it up at the end, this is the piece I left. So and you cut that off, just, and I cut it right. off. So it's just two triangles. To, and if you but have she that, saved it. You can use cause it because she's going to use I it. I can now. use it now. The minimum size pieces you need are maybe three quarters square. I mean, that's you can if you have something that size, you might be able to use it in here. And here I had another white, and I, if you can see it, I, this is what I had here. And then I just put some strips together and trimmed it right so I could here, add here. it on all these these three pieces here. And then I was able to add that onto this because I started th these two whites were pretty much the same size. And then I I don't know on that one you so put some other so things basically together. you looked at the width of this right and made that the width and then added um, right. a triangle at the end to and bring it out. When you're doing triangles, potentially you're going to have some waste, but they're already scraps. It doesn't matter. Right. And if you're frustrated, I'll tell you, because sometimes thinking about how that angle is going to go, to be honest, unless you have opposing triangles that exactly match, you, you can cut it off. If it's just yes. easier for you, just cut off that, that angled tip and just sew it on straight right. if, if, you're, if you're getting frustrated. Because even though mine look like a... I did it as three hunks, I still end up with this one piece that's, that's 13 inches long, which was my goal. And it was, it was like yes. five inches wide, something yeah. like that. Four or five inches yeah. wide, and something then, like that. So, And so, I had these other ones here where I had a triangle and add, just to do something different, added on here, this, this piece here. And yeah, it was work, but you know, it's kind of fun. Right. So. <clears throat> Two things to mention right now. One, you know, we always ask you to make two blocks, one to keep and one for to, to, to go in the drawing at the guild. But for your own quilt, you may want two blocks because these look totally different. Right. So, so while you're making this, keep in mind that anything that is a scrap from what you're making from this is potentially a piece for the, another one of right. these blocks. And all we require in this you have something from all four colors that we mentioned. Yeah. It has so, to be some focus, some white, some black, some coordinating. Right. And, and just, and, and for each block, 
do one one coordinating fabric. Yes. Don't mix up the coordinating fabrics. We, we do want you to keep it to just one. Um, so, so basically the, the other thing to remember is we're going to be making a bunch of strips and, and, and we're going to, and so we're going to go away from here now and we are going to make some strips and by strips, now mine varied in size between an inch to three inches. Shelly's, what she would call a strip, which had these triangle chunks, were, were, were bigger. They, they ended up being like a five inch. So um, however you do this sub making of the strips, we're going to make a bunch of those and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about how you figure out whether you have enough. To make the strips, like she said, about 13 inches. So you have yeah. some, something cut against well, yeah and you don't, even, you don't even have to you don't even have to trim them at this point no. you could have them if they're like 15 you can leave it at that oh, totally. and you can then look at it and decide we're just we'll get to that later but right, right now we're going to go away and we're going to make a bunch of these sub strips we don't expect you to necessarily have everything ready when we come back but we should be we have some closer we have some things to look at anyway yeah <laughs> okay so we're going to go make some of these um, scrap strips and we'll be right back. All right, so we have our pieces right. together. Strips. Strips. So a couple of things that we didn't mention before, probably should have. In, in general, I mean, if you have like um, long strips of fabric that you want to throw in there, you can. Um, I would not make those any more than three inches wide right. if it's just of one color, one type of fabric. Yeah. Right. Um, when you're, we were going to even make it narrower for if it was going to be strippy like this. But when you're using the triangles, you know, use what you have. Right. They don't. They don't have to be. I mean, they they become very pieced just because of the way you make them. Right. Okay. So. That hopefully by now you've figured out how to calculate roughly the width you need. Um, for every two strips, you have to subtract a half an inch for the seam allowance. Right. So I lay all mine out and then I count how many seams I have and, and I take an inch off for every two. Right. And as long as I'm over 12 and a half, the way mine right now is I calculate it. Um, Roughly is just 12 and three quarters. So mine's barely big enough. Um, I'm not really sure what mine is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what we would recommend is you kind of lay the strips out. You know, I, I kept flipping them around so that um, I didn't have all the same colors next to each other. Tried to balance that out. Um, and just start sewing the strips together. Um, press, I would recommend you press almost after every seam, just because with these narrow little seams, it gets really difficult to press um, if you wait and do a bunch. And it, and it can start to almost kind of bow if you're not careful. Right, press to the dark if you can, but if it really wants to go the other way, just do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Generally, you're gonna probably press to the less complicated. Right. Um, and just keep adding the those strips on. Like we said before, at this point, you kind of want them all about the same length. Um, don't don't have big oversized length because then you don't know which end to line up with. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, thirteen. Unless you're always starting on the same side. Or yeah, something. although generally they say you should, because it will kind of bow. You I really know. should go back and forth, right. maybe, unless you have very accurate seams. And mm -hmm. I applaud you for that. <laughs> um, <coughs> so start sewing them together. Um, do not be afraid to change the order as you sew them together because the look changes. Right. What you think it was will look different. Right. Um, and just keep adding strips until you get out past 12 and a half. Yeah. Right. I mean, really, all you need is 12 and a half uh, widthwise. So right. um, use your square up ruler if you think it'll be work okay. You're you're good. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to sew our pieces together, and we will come back when we have at least 12 and a half inch wide. Okay. 
All right. Okay. This wraps up a year. I know Another it. Another year of block of the month. Yes. All right, so um, I trimmed my block. I turned it sideways. I was just saying to Shelly just to be contrary. <laughs> um, Shelly Shelley hasn't trimmed hers. I haven't trimmed mine yet. I have you know, some scraggly edges, but um, it should fit. should fit. I don't have a lot of extra, but I'm c I can told to get my block out of this. Okay. So... Um, you know, now this is the third of these blocks that Shelly's made. You had a lot of scraps, <laughs> although I saw her making some well, more scraps. Well, you know what? A lot of times you don't have enough scraps, and you can totally just piece some pieces to make it fit. They right. can even be a long one-piece color pieces, as long as they aren't too big. Right, and, and you know, if you're making your block um, to turn in for the guild drawing in January, um, you know, you may you may only have enough scraps for that. But if you're going to go back and make some more p blocks for to finish out your quilt, right? Then remember, you're going to make some new scraps. So, um, right? Yeah. Keep in mind, use up those scraps at the end. This is a great block to do that. Right. I mean, it, it's not the fastest block. No. But it's interesting it, and fun. Makes you feel very frugal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, this wraps up this year. Um, we do have our focus fabric picked out for next yes. year. So if you, we're not going to show it yet. It is another black right. based fabric. Right. Um, so keep that in mind if you're looking to buy um, coordinating fabrics to go with it. Um, it it's. It's got um, bright colors again and again. We, right. we kind of like bright colors. Yes. Um, black and bright colors. Um, actually, a lot of the a lot of the colors from this year would work. Right. It's, it's a completely different. It, it's much. It's a much darker, uh, more more heavily black fabric. Right. But um, yeah. So um, we will be busy trying to think up some new blocks for everybody. <laughs> And um, uh, we will see you next month.